three things in salutations. Two evident anomalies. Ellie, Lady of the Realm. And she is who is back here with another week of Evie's vocab. And if you are new to this channel, basically the whole point of Evie's vocab is I decided that in the same style that uh, Undertaker Freak does his videos, or used to do his videos, used to do this sort of thing a long time ago, before you, or I, or, well, at least before I started making content here on YouTube. So, side here. And that style of where he basically rambles off some words and, you know, you learn something, I learn something. Done. And, yes, I've been thinking about making some other videos and references to a lot of the stuff that's been going on around here. But, in light of that, I decided to keep my promise and do something a little bit more, you know, interesting and fun. But, I promise to get to those videos and you will hear my opinion as much as possible. Anywho, we're going to start off with number one. Okay. Sedulous. Sedulous. It means diligent. Yeah. And you can use it in everyday language, such as the work was done in a sedulous manner. Okay. Meaning it was done without any. It was done in a gotta get done, I hold the dario kind of way. Get the idea? Now, this next word I just learned how to say, and I apologize as if it still sounds weird to you, but it's, you know, you have Don Quixote, it's kind of that word, I think it's a quiotic, 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 quiotic? Quiotic? Yeah, quiotic. Yeah, I think that's probably the pronunciation. Anyways, quiotic means idealistic, but not practical. You know how Don Quixote and his quest to go save damsels that weren't there, and from monsters that weren't there, eh? in the first place, Yes. then you would understand the sentence. Now, maybe this wasn't the best way to say it, but, um, we'll, we'll say this. The girl's dream was, the girl's dream of Hollywood was chaotic. I apologize if I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but basically what I said was, yeah, it might have been a good idea to go to Hollywood, but yeah, you know, you got to teach her a lesson sooner or later, huh? Anyways, next, number three, and this is the word, refuge. Yeah, I know it has a very disgusting sound, much like a warthog wallowing in its own filth, but, you know, it's really kind of pretty. It basically means shining, you can say shining, shining brightly. Okay. Okay. It also can be, you, you could also associate with the word ret, where you use the word radiant. And and that's what I chose to go with with this word and this sentence. It's even though the house on the outside seemed dreary, the inside was refuge. Next one. 
Gormansa. Ah. Bowmancer, a greedy person. So, when you think of this phrase, think Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a Gormansa. Any questions? No? <laughs> okay. But, hey, is granulant. I know it sounds like last week's word, which was granulant, but one of, yeah, one of the last words from last week. But this one's a little bit different. It's actually. It means speaking in a pompous manner. Okay. And I, basically you can say this to your boyfriend when he's acting or, better yet, a politician. Okay. When they're making their speeches. That I felt that the politician was granuquent was being granulant when he said that he was going to pave new roads in every town, put a chicken in every pot, and, and make sure everyone got married to the right person. And then he was going to put it into <laughs> And no, it's not referenced to anything else when I said uh he's gonna get married to everyone else uh, married to the right person. Then but you get the idea. And it means big promises that probably would not happen. And I hope no one minds me making that point, but yes, I found, I found between granny clips. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for words that I can use, I know I have a dictionary, but so does everyone else in the world, I suppose. But if you guys want to, you know, let me hear some feedback on this week's vocab and how I did from last week's is and please follow me on my Twitter, my Tumblr, and please I'm gonna do something really awesome that I've never ever done before. Wow! I finally did it. I learned to point down the right di right direction. Now if I there, okay, that's right. Please, click the subscribe button that is way over here. Yes, thank you. Now, if it should be so kind, or don't, you know, it's not like I need your subscriptions. Anyways, to next week, my friends, and uh, thank you. No? Oh, I have a good night.